physical. Hey there, how you guys doing? Dale with Wichita RV. Um, I am going to show you a brand new 2018 Columbus front living room. This thing is the top of line unit if you guys are looking for a really, really nice unit. Whether it's just to go out and play out, play on the weekends, if it's something that you want to look to live in, this thing here is amazing. And I am here today to show you some of the features on this unit. So I will start off with obviously the living room. This is again a front living room by Columbus, the 389 FL. Um, this unit here is roughly uh, around 40 feet long, uh, weighs you know weighs around 13,000 pounds. So you're going to need a pretty decent truck to pull this three quarter ton diesel, uh, at least a three quarter ton truck to to pull this around, if not something a little bit bigger. So. Um, let me show you this unit again this is the the living room area as you can see plenty plenty of area up here i mean you got two couches here both of these couches fold out make into beds um, you also have you also have uh recliners here um these are actually theater seating recliners you sit down in them push the button out and you sit down and relax this is amazing sitting here you got a 55 inch TV flat screen with a fireplace a blu-ray player a sound bar up there surround sound um, this thing is really just amazing up here lots and lots of room it's a it's a home on wheels that's for sure so let me show you some of the other features in this unit. Um, as you can see, the headspace up here, like I said earlier, there's plenty of room. I'm over six feet tall, and I have plenty of room up here. Um, has AC ducted, two ACs on this unit. These are the micro quiet ACs. As some of you folks may know um, that have owned RVs before, uh, ACs can get pretty loud. That's the thing about this. Um, there, the AC is actually on top. The returns are right here. Uh, you can see there is no AC unit right here, so it is again the micro quiet AC. So you're not going to hear that AC like a lot of the other units, AC units out there. Again, it's ducted all the way through. Um, your heat's ducted in the floor. Um, it is a four season unit. Like I said, you could live in this unit full time. So um, follow me. Um, I'll, sh I'll we'll come down here. I'll show you the kitchen. Um, as I'm walking into the kitchen area there's one thing i like to point out um, this is all done digitally on this remote here as far as a lot of the options on this you can see right there it's awning uh the bed ceiling the hall these are just the light features so you can come in here and just hit a button and you can see wow the lights are coming on and off you don't have to go around and hit a bunch of buttons it's all right here when you walk in very nice um, this also controls leveling system you can hit the button here to bring the slides in and out it's all right there so you don't have to go looking anywhere um, this is what they call the one control again it's all right here very easy to use this is uh, standard on these units really nice feature um, Okay, so as we come down these stairs, um, out of the living room, you have a kitchen. Um, nice, nice size kitchen. You have the residential fridge right here. I mean, this thing is huge. Um, it is also on, it's all electric, but it is on an inverter system, so you don't have to worry about not being able to run your refrigerator as you go down the road. I mean, it just comes on, you turn the inverter on, it, again, you don't, it's not propane at all, which gives you the ability to have a nice residential refrigerator. Um, big freezer, pull out drawers, has an ice maker in it. I mean, again, this thing is like being, you know, being at home. Um, here, you have the big convection microwave. Um, as you can see, it's residential style, really big. As you're looking around in here, you'll see all of the storage. I mean, 
this is a, a smaller kitchen compared to some, but again, it has a ton of storage area um, throughout. You have your three burner stove right there, solid service countertops. That top just flips up just like that. You know, you have your stove there and then it just flips right down and now you have more counter space. Here again, more counter space on the island. These just come up, um, stainless steel sink, two sides, huge sinks, guys. This is really nice. Um, residential style faucet comes down. Obviously you turn it on and on, on and off right there. Um, again, these go back over the sink, give you more counter space. Underneath the island, um, there is storage all the way throughout. You have a bunch of storage there. You have your drawers here um, to put your silverware, everything. Again, just a lot of storage space. You even have storage over here. I mean, just a little area, but as everybody knows that it has owned an RV before, it, any little bit helps. Over here is gonna be what separates the living room and the kitchen. Um, so that way you can stand here people up there can have a conversation without having to hear you out here in the kitchen, vice versa. You can come over here and then obviously you can see all the way up here, all the way there, uh, a really good view from, from both areas. Um, again, I'll just kind of show off some of the storage area in here, more storage there. You have pantry space over here. So, Oh, this right here, this is one thing I will pull out and show everybody. Backup camera, that's also standard in this. It has a backup camera already installed. This thing is the monitor you put in your truck. So that way when you're backing up, you don't have to have anybody behind you showing you what to do. You just have the camera there. Again, a really nice feature. Right here, obviously this is the dining table. Um, it has two chairs, has another additional two fold up chairs. It does have a leaf that folds out. There's a light right there. Comes out, gives you extension there. Um, one thing, I've had people that have owned RVs for over 20 years and I, I had one, one customer tell me, you know, I've owned an RV for over 20 years and I didn't know there was storage in the chairs. It's just a kind of a fun little story. I show people there's storage in these chairs. So nice place to put napkins, games, you know, deck of cards, poker chips, whatever. Um, and then you also have extra plugs here, USB ports, 12 volt system. Again, a couple extra plugs. That way you can put your coffee maker there, um, espresso machine, margarita machine, whatever floats your boat. There's there's plenty of plugs around there. Um, under counter lights, little just push lights underneath there, lights it up real nice. Um, nice backsplashes throughout, just gives it the residential feel. Um, one thing I will also show you, nice thing on the Columbus, they have decided to go ahead and get rid of the day and night shades that you always have to restring. Those are kind of a pain. These are micro roller shades, so you have your black out there, and then you have your other shade there. Really nice, really easy to use. You don't, again, you don't have to worry about restringing your blinds. Okay, well, I'll have you follow me um, into the bathroom and bedroom. Um, as I'm going down the hallway, I will show that there is a small coat closet there that you can hang up coats and, and there's some extra storage in there. <coughs> Excuse me, as we go up the stairs, you'll notice that they are lit. That's a nice feature too. Um, you also have your central vac system in there, um, your hose and your dustpan hooks up there. So you have the vacuum already built in. One thing that you'll notice as I'm coming up the stairs, this front living room is a little different. Um, I'm gonna hit a couple light switches. I must have turned those off. Uh, you'll see in your conventional fifth wheel, you have one floor, you know, your, your base floor, typically your bedrooms up front. Again, this is a front living room, but even in some other front living rooms, again, you just have your steps up into the living room and your bedroom and your kitchen are all on one floor. As you can see, I just came up two steps. 
The reason why they've done this in this model is because a lot of folks do, when they get into these bigger units, they need extra storage. Um, as we go outside and I show you some of the features outside, the one thing about this, where I'm standing above from here all the way back to the back of the bedroom, this is all storage underneath it. So a ton of storage for your full-time RVers. So uh, I'll have you follow me into this bathroom. This bathroom is amazing. Um, wow, look at this. I mean, you have a huge shower, um, big shower, three uh, glass piece sliding to close it off. For you ladies, there's a seat in there, real nice. I know this sounds funny, but it's a great way so you can sit down and shave your legs. Uh, also, look, his and her sinks. I mean, you have dual sinks here, so no one's fighting over there. Plenty of counter space. Again, two sinks there. You also have, you know, a big vanity here to put all of your personal belongings and obviously all your storage underneath. And obviously the, the other thing in the bathroom that's important is you have the toilet. You have a porcelain toilet there. Um, it's out of the way, but again, one thing I will point out, and a lot of people that have owned RVs notice that there's tons of leg room around that toilet, which is very important, obviously. Um, close this, you have a towel hanger here, real nice. Um, and then again, just more storage. I mean, you, again, like I said earlier, you'll, you'll know, never have enough storage in this, so there's plenty of storage there for, for your personal belongings. Um, there also, as we I, you follow me into the bedroom, you'll see that there's two entries into the bedroom, one through the bathroom with a nice sliding door that is locked into place, but this door slides, closes, um, again, like I said, it's locked into place, or you can go through the entrance in out of the bathroom into the bedroom, and I'll meet you around over here. Look, there I am. So either way, you can go around there. Okay, here is the master bedroom. This unit actually has a queen size bed in it. Um, if you want a king, that's very easy to do. Um, queen or king, it'll, it'll, uh, has enough room for either one. Um, there is your storage underneath the bed, like a lot of units have, but there you go, storage underneath the bed. A lot of room on both sides. There's also outlets on the sides of the beds. So uh, folks that have CPAP machines or want to plug your cell phone in, you can do that. Uh, reading lights above the bed right there. That's a real nice thing. While you're, you're sitting in the bed, you can just turn those on. Um, obviously every RV has fire escapes. There's one right there. And you can see there is two ACs in this, um, two 15,000 BTU ACs. So it is on a, um, dual thermostat the thermostat controls um, either ac so you can turn this one on leave that one off or vice versa they're all ducted in together um, as i'm standing here also wow this is very very large here is your closet uh, mirror closet doors you have closet in there i know there's a light in there let me turn that on you can see wow look at all that closet space and more closet space. This is set up, you can put stackable washer and dryer in there. Again, there's your two extra chairs for the dining room table. If you don't want a washer and dryer, again, just more closet space. And that is a mirror door also. And then <clears throat> here is your dresser. Again, big TV, uh, 55 inch TV here, a sound bar another Blu-ray disc player, um, and then plenty of room to put your clothes. That's one thing about this unit, you will never, you should never, um, I guess my wife would maybe differ with me, but you should never run out of storage space in this. It has plenty of room in here. So um, that is the unit. It's the Columbus, 2018 Columbus uh, 389FL front living room. We're gonna have this at the Wichita RV show also. Um, the price on this, um, don't quote me exactly, I can go down there and show you, but it, it goes about $86,000. we are going to sell this unit um, $68,000 at the show, so you're getting about a $20,000 discount there. That's, that's awesome. Um, 
As you follow me out, we will go outside and we'll go over some of the benefits outside on this. This does have the auto leveling, um, has again that outside storage that we'll show you. Um, so follow me, we'll go outside. Okay, we're gonna go outside. Um, this is uh, one thing I wanna show you right off the bat when we go outside. We open up this door here. Obviously you have your screen door, but look at that window. That is very nice residential style. Nice size window, um, lets in plenty of light, gives you the privacy, but again, gives you the residential feel that you don't get with a lot of other uh, fifth wheels. So um, the other thing I wanna show you is, and I'll walk right back up them so you can see. Check out these stairs. This is a four stairs, a four step system. These are Moride steps. Columbus was the first RV manufacturer that started using these steps. A lot of other are, are starting to do that. But look, I am jumping up and down on these steps. You can't do that on your typical RV step. The other thing I'll show you, I mean, they are solid all the way down. They are adjustable. The other thing I'll show you is they are light. I am picking this up. These are spring loaded. I'm picking these up with one finger and pushing them. Oh, this door has to be all the way open. Wow, look at that. They fold right into your RV. So that way you don't have to worry about the steps bending. There's no open space right here uh, to collect snow, dirt, debris, like your typical RV step that folds it in. And again, a lot of you folks know that have had RVs for a long time. Those steps can be really hard to get back in that small space because they fold up. You have to grease them up and do all that. This, you don't have to worry about. I mean, these, again, you just set these down. They're adjustable here for different heights, but they just go down right there, boom, they're in place. Um, the legs, again, do adjust, so if you're not on level ground, that you can set them. But this is one of the top sellers, I can tell you, on a lot of RVs that don't have these steps, we are actually putting in steps like this for, I would say, 50% of our customers, just because of the ease of folding them up and down and how solid they are. It's actually a staircase rather than a step that's just hanging there. So I'll show you that. So let's follow, follow me around. I'm gonna walk around this unit, show you a few of the, the nice features that this unit has. Um, one thing as we walk around, you will notice it does have frameless windows. These are very nice, very dark, uh, gives it a sleek look. Um, as you look up over there, you have your electric awning with LED lights underneath. Um, also has an awning guard to help protect your awning fabric from wear and tear. And one thing I'll show you on these steps again, I'm gonna fold these up real quick, but look, there's LED lights right there. So at night, you don't have to worry about carrying a flashlight or whatever if you forget to turn your lights on. There's lights right there, illuminates the steps. Um, I'll close this so you can see that window, it does have keyless entry. Again, a, a nice feature. You have your lend a hand that just folds up like that. Gives you a nice sturdy grip right there. Um, you have your outdoor speaker, your scare light. These are just small features, but I did want to point those out. So as we walk around this unit, um, there's a few other things on this unit I will show you. This is what I was talking about inside. Look at all that storage. This thing starts here, goes all the way back. That, that is the storage, I mean, I could crawl underneath here. I mean, my kids could sleep in here. So for anybody that's ever concerned about running out of storage space in an RV, I mean, you can see, I mean, this is all the way across. There's doors here. We got four doors here. You can put a bike underneath here. It does have uh, satellite and cable hookups in there, as you can see. And this is for your central vac. And it does have an outside radio which is really nice. Um, so,
These are slam baggage door locks on these doors here. This is kind of a new feature that's been out for, for a couple years, but some, some RVs uh, don't have them. Um, so I want to show you. These do go into place here. These close like that, but these you just push, slam. These also have magnets like this one right here. This is a nice feature. You just, again, slam it, you open it. No clips to worry about breaking. It's just magnetic. And I mean, if you don't have to worry about the wind knocking that thing down. I mean, that is solid. So I'll close that as we walk around and we'll go. Obviously you have your ladder um, that goes up. This does fold up out of the way if you ever want to put a a fold down rack on that that ladder does fold up again another safety feature but does get it out of the way if you ever want to put a a rack on it and then it just snaps lift it up this is actually easier than i'm making it and it snaps right into place um, as we walk around here you'll see it does have your backup camera i've shown you that monitor but there's your backup camera there And this is the other side of that storage. You can see, again, one of the other doors just going underneath there. A ton and ton of storage, guys. This unit is does have the auto level on it. In here is just the, the back of the refrigerator. This is a nice feature. I will show you is it this is your ice maker valve that's one thing about folks that have ice have had ice makers before in their refrigerators you can't get to this valve columbus said you know what we're going to make it easy for the owner and also any service technician to be able to get to that valve to service that that is that is very very nice trust me uh, but what i was saying is this does have the auto level system on it so it's all touch pad right here um, I'm not gonna play with it that would take too long but basically you hit the button and it has six points on it it will level itself guys you don't have to go out and put chalks underneath it worrying about looking at a level you hit a button and it will level itself very nice feature um, this is one thing about this unit is because you have all the storage in the back, you don't have your conventional pass-through storage like you do on a lot of other uh, fifth wheels, but you do have the storage. This is one thing I did want to point out. This is your inverter. I was telling you about that residential refrigerator in there. This is what powers that residential refrigerator where you're not plugged in. Um, we are not plugged in currently. We are running off the battery and that refrigerator is on and this is running it. This will run that refrigerator without having to plug in 48 hours. I mean, so if you're out with no electricity, you want to boondock and not, you know, um, have to worry about plugging in using uh, propane or again, just running up and down the road. That is what powers that refrigerator. So a um, couple other things, this is pretty standard. One nice thing about Columbus, I know some of you guys are gonna say, wow, those are small tanks. Well, what they decided to do is instead of put in your 30 pound tanks, like most fifth wheels, which if you have two 30 pound tanks, that's 60 pounds, they put in three 20 pound tanks and i'll tell you what guys the reason why they did that is because you can go anywhere now and exchange these you know with the 30 pound tanks you can exchange those at some places but most of the time you're gonna have to go get those filled everybody know you go to the gas station go to dylan's or your, your grocery store you can just change these that's why these tanks are so small you get the same amount of propane it's just a lot easier as you as the owner um, to go refill it so so you have one here and two on the other side. I'll show you that. <coughs> this is gonna be where your battery is, guys. Um, this folds up, again, more storage. But you can see, and I'll show you on the other side as we get over there, there are your other two propane tanks. That slides out, makes it really easy to get to those. But um, again, a lot of storage, push button lights. It even has solar hookups. So you can, you can see right there, let me show you that. 
right here, solar on the side. You can hook up a solar panel to this and power your unit by your solar panel. So that is, uh, again, that's, that's a fairly new feature that they're starting to put on um, the Columbus. You can get a solar panel and not have to worry about running out of your batteries. So I will show you these propane tanks and we're about done, guys. Uh, These right here, you hit the lever, you pull these out, and right there you have your two propane tanks. So again, you have you have 60 pounds of propane, you just have three tanks, a lot easier to go in and exchange when you're running out of propane. So um, that's gonna do it for me. Again, this is the 2018 Columbus. Um, let me slide this back in, maybe, maybe not. 2018 Columbus 389 FL uh, front living um, come out and see us at the show again you're gonna get it's 86.5 is the price on this you're gonna get it right around 68,000 um, you're gonna save you know guys almost 20 grand 18 19 thousand dollars coming out to the show and buying this from us at the show come out and see us January 10th through the 14th Harman Arena will be there I hope you guys will too thank you